So in the last part we got started with Botfather, we created our bot, we gave it a profile image, a description and so on. In this part we're going to go ahead and install the necessary packages and set up our project structure. So the first thing we want to do is go to the terminal and inside here we're going to go ahead and type in pip install python dash telegram dash bot. And once we've installed that, we can go ahead and close our terminal. Then we can go ahead and create a new Python file, which is going to be called responses. And we're not going to type anything inside here yet. This is just to set up the project structure. And then let's go back to main and let's get started with the imports. So right above the API key, we want to go ahead and first import logging. So we can actually see what happens when there's an error or when there's a message. We want to be able to visualize all of that data in a way that's easy for our system to understand. Then we want to go ahead and import from telegram.extensions. We are going to import everything to simplify the package selection. And finally, we are going to import responses. So whatever we type inside our responses file is going to be transferred to main and we can later use that to maintain a clean project structure. And the only thing we're going to do here is set up the logging. So we're going to create a comment that says set up the logging and we're going to type in logging.basicconfig and we want to give it a format which is going to start with the date and time. So we're going to give it a percent symbol and type in ash time and provide an S right after that followed by a dash. Then we also want to provide the name of what it is. So just go ahead and type in name with an S right after that, dash, percent, and the level name. So level name, dash, S, and finally the message of what's going on inside the log. So inside here we'll type in message, add an S right after that. And finally, we should also provide a level, which is going to be a logging.info level. Then we can go ahead and type in logging.info and inside here we're going to type in starting bot. So we can tell that the program is successfully running when we click on run. And just to test it out, we will go ahead and click on this play button. And you'll notice that we will get the date and time we started the program, the name of where it's happening, what kind of level it is, and what the message is. So this will later be used to read the messages from the user and also to log the errors. But that's actually it for this short video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and add the rest of the functionality that is required to make this bot function. And then after that, we'll be able to add some more elaborate responses that will make your bot sound a lot better. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.